Hello and welcome to tonight's stream. A uh, little bit later, unfortunately, I was shoveling snow quite a bit, chipping away at ice, uh, throwing down as much salt as I could, but when I came in, it's like it knew. It started snowing again. Currently, man, it's supposed to go all night, so uh, maybe I should have just left it, started this a little bit sooner, but that's all right. As always, you can watch it later on if, uh, yeah, you miss it at any time. You want to look back at things. Uh, I just noticed I got the picture of drowsing Tyranodon there. That uh, should not be. Oops. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Uh, where is he? All right, perfect. Okay, so starting off tonight, you loved Quartzwood Crasher. I loved Quartzwood Crasher. We're elevating things a little bit with some big guys. Some pretty sweet interaction. Our namesake interaction. But first, starting off as always, commune with dinosaurs. We got the three amigos going tonight. I wanted to up the ramp a little bit more. Have a few more two drops to hopefully be a little more resilient to some of that early removal. Of course, Marauding and Huntmaster, followed by a couple Drover there. Going to help fix mana a little bit. Not that it's rough, uh, since we have gone back to just uh, red and green colors. Of course, man, Shifting Ceratops. Let's hope this guy shines again tonight. Ripjaw Raptor, fantastic, as always. Regisaur Alpha. It's going to do some good stuff, uh, of course. We're playing stuff with Trample. Lots of stuff with Trample. This guy, fantastic consideration. And then the big stuff, Carnage Tyrant. Three of them. I wanted to do at least some amount. I had started with four, but felt like trimming a little bit off the top. So Carnage Tyrant, three of them. Rampaging Brontodon. Sometimes, oftentimes, bigger than Galta, and we can have multiples of this guy. Not that we would ever need multiples, but uh, it would be pretty fantastic, I think. See if it happens. Mana base, pretty standard. Uh, normal amount of basics, pretty much. Uh, Craig Crown Pathway, Rockfall Veil, Rootbound Craig, all that good stuff. Started using Secluded Courtyard a little bit. I do have four unclaimed territory, but man, I just love that art. Certainly not a place a dino would want to go or could go. It wouldn't be very secluded, and it certainly would not look like that afterwards, especially with Rampaging Brontodon. Ugh. Let's get into the sideboard, though. Rampaging Ferocidon. Lots of rampaging going on. Savage Stomp, our fight spell. Now, sometimes, I mean, it would be nice to start out with it. I just have it in the sideboard in case we go up against those control decks, which seems to be the theme the past few nights here. But if they got creatures, that's coming in 100%. The inspiration for the name tonight. Ram through, I mean... Lots of trample stuff. I know some of you guys watching right now or watching later on have used this, tried to use it in conjunction with Quartzwood Crasher, bunch of the big guys that we have. So that's going to be fantastic. And being instant speed, hopefully, maybe that helps us with uh, Grease Fang, vehicles, other stuff like that. Death Court Scavenger to do good work in the graveyard. Other than that, we're just aiming to get big stuff. It's trample, so we don't got to worry about chump blockers. All right, let's jump right into things. Maybe we face a little bit slower gruel variation to start things off, and we get a pretty nice rampaging brontodon. I was going to say rampaging ferocidon. My, my goodness, I... I should do maybe an episode where I go over all the similar named dinos. Thrashing Brontodon, Rampaging Brontodon, uh, Rampaging Ferocidon. A lot of Regisaurs, Alphas, uh, Raptors, of course, but that's to be expected. Hmm. 
Oh, okay, starting good. I was wondering, for some reason, uh, just before I started, the memory on my computer spiked to 99% and everything was just shutting down, not working, but I did find th the problem in the task manager, so got that sorted out and now we're running, we're humming, waiting for the opponent, it's a little late, I'm sure we won't fall asleep before things start, but uh, any day now. Perhaps it's one of those glitches um, I had about a week ago or so. Tried to. Oh, okay. Maybe things are starting off normally. Sopo. Oh, it is. It is that glitch. Yeah, it's not too bad. Certainly didn't take too much time, but get right back into things. I believe it should find a match pretty much right away if it goes to a minute or anything longer i would say just hit cancel close the application and usually that sorts things out um, most of the time shouldn't have to reset your computer but if it's taking over a minute uh, something's up usually Seems like I might have to reset the app. Oh, okay. So, okay, good. This looks like it should be normal. Golem was framed. Uh, let's not get into that. Well, not as fast as I would like. I mean, I, there is 10 two drops, and we're not seeing any of them to start. I certainly could risk it. Don't have even a turn three play. Hmm. Yeah, let's take them all again. Ooh. Well, we'll keep that. We'll dig. Uh, Golem was framed. Do you think they're control? Yeah, we'll send Ripjaw packing. But we'll dig turn one with Commune uh, for Marauding Raptor. Hopefully we draw a two drop and we can mix and match. Otepa Cunt Master plus Marauding, Marauding plus Drover, something like that. But it was not meant to be and still no two drop. It's like they're not even in the deck. My goodness. That's all right, though. Grab the rootbound Craig. At the very least, we got shifting ceratops coming up, but it's the mirror colors, and this is not the best start in the world. Oh boy. Well, hey, we haven't lost a two drop yet. I mean, they certainly would have. Oh. You know what that calls for? Yes, 100%. Let's get that forest. Get that drover who hopefully survives. I highly doubt it. They don't want to get Quartzwood down sooner than they have to. They'll hold off Quartzwood as long as possible. Or just get rid of it with another Thought Seize, I would imagine. Oh, Marauding. Good stuff. Things are certainly looking up, but uh, I feel they could counter this, perhaps. Do something. Archmage's Charm. But they see Quartzwood, so things will get nasty next turn if they don't do something. So they're pretty much forced to. Even if they take out Marauding, we still... Oh, there's the Archmage's Charm. But they didn't counter it. Huh. So hopefully they don't sweep us next turn. They have two sources of black. They could go a wide variety of things. I always hate Languish. Hopefully I didn't just jinx myself. For anyone that doesn't know Languish, two and two black, all creatures get minus four, minus four. Pretty nasty stuff. A lot of our things are four and less. Ripjaw Raptor does survive, luckily being five toughness, Quartzwood and some of those higher ones would survive. So I think we could be pretty resilient if 
that's something the opponent's doing. Hmm. Looks like they can't kill both, so they're deciding which they want to kill. What would be the priority? I would assume Marauding Raptor, perhaps. Ooh. Stumbling a little bit there. Certainly not worried for next turn, but uh, if they do have a Languish, or if they reveal a Languish, I mean, Quartzwood is going to survive that, so that's pretty nice. See what we draw next turn, it might change up how we do things. Especially if it's another Marauding Raptor. We'd go that plus Quartzwood, and things would be pretty... Oh, someone's dying. Yep. Interesting. Huh. That's alright. My bad. That's embarrassing. I am so used to dinos only needing one source of red. Hey, that's okay. It's a learning experience. Something I'm going to have to keep in mind in the future. But next turn, I mean, hey, we're going to have two sources. Even if they kill Marauding, we go Quartzwood. Ashiok, not too bad. I really hate the tokens that Ashiok makes. That is not nice. Oh, exile a card. Well, well, well. It's going to be a mountain. Cray Crown Pathway. Oh, okay, another Cray Crown Pathway. Right, let's get that Quartzwood. Hope it uh, survives. Stuff. Something. I imagine it does not. Well, they haven't killed it yet, so uh, that's a positive. Oh, and shifting Ceratops to boot. Wow. F okay, that's fantastic. Yeah, Marauding. Shifting for three. Hopefully give it haste. Fly past that token, which is blue, so can't block it. Pretty good stuff. Hopefully they don't do anything to Marauding, but at the very least, we still would be able to go Shifting Ceratops. Okay, that's quite all right. I think I'll prioritize Ashiok. I just hate all those tokens. Keeps making. Can't counter it. If you were thinking of countering it. Hmm. I think they would have blocked with the token if we had went just for face damage. Hopefully shifting sticks around and we don't see any removal coming up here. Or we get a second shifting next turn, that'd be pretty good. Just keep going past that token. I would imagine the token would probably want to block the Quartzwood at some point since it's the only thing it can block at the moment. Hmm. I think I'll probably be bling blinging in bringing in ram through 
for... Oh, that's a fantastic top deck. Uh, Ram through for game two. Seems like they'll have... Oh, okay. Carnage Tyrant was scary enough. Scoop. Hard to deal with. Can't be countered. Protection from blue shifting. Can't be countered. Protection from most stuff. Carnage Tyrant. Okay. Now they do have some graveyard stuff. Flaming Draco. How's it going? Blue players. Masters of running down the clock. And making us think. Bluffing that they have some sort of removal. But it's nice to try and read the bluffs. Gain information by what they've done or haven't done can be quite interesting for, for sure i definitely like that angle but yes as i said ram through seems like they'll have some creatures there with ashiok i would expect maybe the full play set if they didn't have it just because they can bounce stuff that sort of thing maybe that's going to be rough but hmm I'll cut two Drover and two Huntmaster just because of Fatal Push, Blood Chief's Thirst, that sort of thing. Being able to just get rid of stuff that costs two quite easily. So hopefully that helps things out. And maybe Ripjaw for Death Gorge because they got a lot of spells and stuff. Death Gorge could be pretty fantastic here. I think they can. Or they do have some ways of bringing things back, so perhaps Death Gorge will help further in that regard. But if they don't have creatures, I do like Death Gorge just because it will have likely the same power as Ripjaw whenever it's attacking, and we get the added benefit of exiling stuff. Possibly gaining life if we need to. And speaking of Death Gorge there, good stuff. And that does look like a pretty fantastic hand. Much better than the previous game. We still got it done. Definitely. Anytime we can do Shelter Thicket and have an untapped land for the second turn. Never mind. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Oh. The Carnage Tyrant. Immediately. Man, they hate that guy. Now it's I'm second guessing myself. Maybe I should have just put the full playset in because it's a headache for many people. Oh, and search for his can't. Okay, so I was right. It's going to be useful. Hopefully, Death Gorge. We're going to keep the graveyard away from seven. So search for his can't uh, never flips. Hopefully, that can be a big headache. Digging for nasty, nasty stuff. Luckily, they're only at two, so things should be pretty... Oh, and they love... Hmm. You know what? I think we take this opportunity just go shifting. If they were close to seven, or they would get seven next turn, probably go Death Gorge. I'm just going to go shifting. Maximum aggression. Now, we could have gone Death Gorge that turn. We sheltered Thicket, our land for the turn, then Death Gorge. And then we would have had hasty shifting coming up this turn. Effectively the same thing. Oh, and Regis or Alpha. Well, Shelter Thicket, 100%. Get that Death Gorge. I don't like Thoughtseize. Let's get rid of that. Not that... They'd be recurring it anytime soon, but uh, hey, as long as it's a non-creature, that's what we want to do. Yeah, we'll see what Commune gets us. Flex our muscles a little bit. Maybe it's another Carnage Tyrant, which this opponent seems to despise, hate, makes him quiver. Hmm. Running down the clock is right. But you know, maybe they're not running it down. They certainly could be considering various options to help them out. Ooh, rampaging Brontodon, very nice. Do have the potential to go that. I mean, 
Could be nasty coming up, so I think I'll just play it safe, lock in a land. Yeah. So if they do sweep us next turn, something like Languish, whatnot, we still have the potential for Regis or Alpha, which they do not see, so that could be something pretty nice, pretty handy. See if they cycle maybe a Shark Typhoon, thinking they can block Shifting Ceratops there, which is not the case since it has protection from blue. Yeah, Search is not flipping this game. And I guess they have to do something to Shifting or else they die. That's pretty good. Okay, starting off strong tonight. Hopefully. Let's not count our dinos before they've hatched. Hmm. I'm surprised uh, players like this don't go languish a little bit more often. I, I just think that's fantastic. Minus four, minus four for four. Gets the job done against a lot of stuff. Especially myself. Oh, so there's the Sark. Sark? Shark? Shark Typhoon. So maybe they're swinging with the Shark Typhoon. Get a little bit of damage. Followed up by some sort of sweeper. Seems like that's what it's going to be. Crux of Fate. Okay. I thought something. And it was something. But we got the good old Regis or Alpha. Maximum aggression. Maximum power. Get her done and hope they don't have a second Crux of Fate. That'd be rough. But we do have Commune. Could potentially grab us another Regis or Alpha, which we would be able to play since we'll have six mana next turn. That would be pretty sweet. Cavern of Souls to Historic. Um, maybe it would put some of the fantastic, well, I mean, dinos are fantastic. It would put some of the other tribal decks over the top, maybe too much. Uh, humans, especially. Simic, Merfolk. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it would be that bad. I mean, it's worth a try. It's, it's historic. At the very least, add it in. Oh, there we go. Demir Control in two. Good start, good start. But yeah, if they added Cavern of Souls in to Historic, again, it's uh, on Arena, it's digital. If it's a problem, they just ban it, suspend it, whatever they want to do. So they do have that pretty easy safety valve. I think it's definitely worth a try. I mean, it's not like Dinos or doing anything really unfair, but um, yeah. yeah. Definitely. I certainly would like to get a playset of Cavern of Souls for technically free. I mean, who wouldn't love that? Saving, I don't know, I think Cavern of Souls is 80 bucks a piece right now. Something like that. I would uh, be pretty happy saving that money. I still might buy a playset in paper some point down the road. Looking kind of, ooh, yes, root bound, yeah. Just because we don't have a mountain or forest yet, but turn one white, at least they didn't play Soul Warden. Oh boy, well, I was hoping maybe we wouldn't face a, a life gain deck because we only have three Rampaging Frostodon in the side. Elves and Angels would be scary with it, yeah. I mean, it's scary, like, if we're facing an opponent that has that, of course, it's not doing a whole lot for... Okay, it's out of control, I think. Yep. All right, let's, uh... That's downhill. Elves and angels, scary, I mean. We're not countering them, so if we face an opponent with Cavern of Souls, not doing a whole lot in that matchup for him, so... Yeah, I... I say try it, yeah. Savage Stomp, yeah. 
Rampaging Frostodon. Yeah. Man, maybe I should just keep it at four. Drop Ram through to three. Four copies of Rampaging. Hmm. Shifting. Uh, I say we cut that. Rampaging. Yep. And more interaction. More interaction is the name of the game. Yeah, let's keep it at Savage Dawn, maybe. We'll prioritize Rampaging Frostodon, of course. Uh, Savage Stomp to stop the Bishop of Wings. Something like that. Hopefully we get that early Ripjaw that we can pair with Savage Stomp. Uh, it could be pretty good. We're going first. Certainly digging for that Rampaging Frostodon and hoping they don't have the Skyclave Apparition coming up. Oh, there it is. Yep. If we see it and we grab it, no questions. Oh, that's so we're praying and hoping it's not a turn to voice of the blessed blessing. Whatchamacallit. We'll see something here, I think. Bishop of Wings, okay, good stuff. Get that rampaging and get it done. Nope, you're not swinging. Well, you know, no, no, let's, uh, as always, let's see if Commune can grab us marauding. Not the case, but we'll grab Unclaimed, get the Rampaging, and you know what? We can just swing away. If they want to block, we would take out Soul Ward, and if they want it to double block, might as well get a bit of damage in. You have to block with two. But yeah, maybe maybe it wouldn't be so good because elves are pretty nasty. Making them even more nasty and resilient against control decks uh, might not be so good. Oh, there's the Savage Stomp. Okay, I like the looks of that. But I do like the looks of a hasty Quartzwood Crasher, maximizing our available mana for the turn. They have stumbled a little bit, missing a land drop. So let's just get that Quartzwood, slam it down, get a big guy. Don't got to worry about him gaining life, and... Uh... All right. Four for a 6-6 six, six haste, that makes a 6-6 six, six trample. That's Galta level damage and power right there. Oh, got her done. Good stuff, but I'm scared. I am scared coming up here. Uh, I say we drop Carnage Tyrant, actually. Bring in a couple ram throughs just, just to be a little safer, especially because they are on the play. They could get something nasty going quick, so being able to take out whatever is the best target. Oh yeah, yeah, true. Uh, elves with Allosaurus Shepherd. Um, yeah, I guess it wouldn't really make much sense for them to have Cavern of Souls. Perhaps if they really want to up the protection against control decks, Allosaurus Shepherd certainly could get removed by a wide range of things, so they want that Extra safety net option. Hard to interact with Cavern of Souls compared to Allosaurus Shepherd. Speaker of the Heavens, okay. Well, I mean, certainly seeing a hand like that's a no brainer. Hunt Master, Rampaging. Hopefully everything sticks around and we can go Savage Stomp on the Rampaging. At the very least, they didn't get Soul Warden. So that's good. Seems like we might have a chance this game. Oh, there's the Soul Warden. Okay. Still missing the lands. Oh, my goodness. Well, definitely, it's 100% it, against a deck like this. Don't. I learned my lesson the hard way a couple nights ago. Not going rampaging for Asadon when I should have. So, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, definitely what's happening. In case they do take out Rampaging Frostodon, I think I feel better getting rid of Bishop of the Wings. Just because it does 
nasty, nasty stuff. Plus, we're doing a bit more damage now with that counter. And we got another Savage Stomp. My goodness. Maybe I should start using this thing a little more often. I'm just glad it's featuring a little bit here. The namesake card for tonight. Maybe keeping it in for the future. I don't see how they can get out of this. Might as well swing for one. It does have vigilance. Okay. Perhaps uh, a little bit newer opponent. Right. Good stuff. Taking down Mono White Life Gain. Always a good time. Drawing more cards. Okay, I think pretty safe to say we got this one locked up. If they sweep everything, we still go Quartzwood next turn. Resplendent. Not gonna do it. Man, I'm just glad they don't have Skyclave Apparition. That is nasty, nasty stuff. But let's uh, try and finish it off with Quartzwood here. Uh, 6, 12, they'd have to double block. Yeah. They wouldn't be able to double block and still live, so... Should work out. I love drawing cards and getting more bodies. Okay. Hopefully they don't sweep us here, but we got Regisaur Alpha to back things up. We'll do it. Okay. Man. Demir Control, Mono White, Life Gain, Angels. Nasty stuff, but fortunately they stumbled a little bit on the land drops. We got that rampaging for Ossidon and they didn't have an answer for it. So three copies did the trick. I still prefer four copies of rampaging for Ossidon whenever possible. Just because it's, I mean, it is the key card against a deck like this. Uh, I've been thinking about putting it in at least one copy I did forget um, so oh Lair of the Hydra tonight I forgot to put a single copy of that in yeah I, I definitely think it would fit right in for sure I still gotta re always keep remembering Lair of the Hydra there still forget it whenever I'm whipping up a list for the night or Maybe reusing one. But yeah, I could see uh, adding that in as well. I think I really should start using those utility lands a little bit more often than I have in the past. Man lands, that sort of thing. Playing against the user, huh, very interesting. Oh, definitely keeping that a little bit rough. Hopefully we get to that third land. We can go hasty Ripjaw and uh, Huntmaster doesn't eat some removal. It's gonna be rough though if they kill Huntmaster, which I think it seems like might be the case. It's black something and we did not draw the land. Oh, that is unfortunate. Well, let's get a little bit of damage in. Ah, that's where that where's the la I don't have a laughing dino, but I wish I had the laughing dino. Good stuff. Oh, oh my gosh, but well, this is not good. That hey, at least they didn't discard something, but uh Oh, it's an obliterator deck. There's our third land that we were hoping for a little bit sooner. 
let's just try and establish as big a board as possible before we worry about Phyrexian Obliterator there. So we can take a little bit of damage from it. Well, they don't want to swing. Well, well, well. Get that Quartzwood. Hopefully it survives next turn we go the second Quartzwood, or perhaps Carnage Tyrant. Hmm. I'll swing with both Quartzwood next turn. Stavriel could be nasty, though. You should know I have standards. Mm -hmm. And I've yet to find an enemy that meets them. That's that's rude, gone, my goodness. Huh. Well, at least they're still not swinging, so that's a positive. Another quartzwood crasher it is. I say we try and get rid of that Phyrexian Obliterator. Yeah, let's see what he does. Okay, Huntmaster Forest. Bam. That's all right. Hopefully that does the trick. Kind of interesting. Filthy Obliterator. Flame and Draco. You said it. But I gotta remember that. So because I had two, even though the one died, I still get the double tokens from the one that connected. Hmm. Neat little interaction there maximum pressure maximum aggression let's go get her done discard a card i don't care because we're probably not getting to rampaging brontodon here oh well i think that's gonna do it unfortunately i should probably read davriel a little bit closer I mean, it wasn't the best game in the world, but... Tegrid, I do not like. Savage Stomp, uh... You know what, I feel like... Ram Through could be pretty handy in this matchup. Death Gorge getting stuff out of the graveyard. Oof, oof is right. That's okay. Having a good time. You saw some pretty big trampled dinos, so... It was alright. It was alright. Shifting Ceratops, maybe... Yeah, let's get rid of Ripjaw. Can't trade with Phyrexian Obliterator. Well, Shifting Ceratops could at 5 power. Not that we would want to trade with the Obliterator. But man, this is uh, not a fun deck to go up against. It's been quite some time, actually. I do think the Golgari variation is maybe a little bit better with their ability to fight with the Phyrexian Obliterator. I even saw them use Primal Might uh, probably months, months and months ago. Primal Might on Phyrexian Obliterator really does the trick. But that first hand and this hand does not. Ouch. Okay, that's going to be it. At least we only had to send two to the bottom. And we pray Marauding survives. And it's not Inquisition of Knight of the Ebon Legion. So yeah, hopefully Marauding survives. Ram through, kill Knight of the Ebon Legion. That would be pretty fantastic. So it looks like they'll let it through. They'll play a third land next turn. And while its ability is on the stack, we shall ram them. Oh, they're not. Interesting. Well, we'll just uh, keep going, I guess. 
was fun at the time, yeah. Alrighty. Yes, yes, it's pretty nice. That's what I was waiting for. Oh. Janko. This card, oh, they wanted to sacrifice Rankle. Okay, well, I uh, won't be using Ram Through. Uh, no. I think we might need Ram Through at some point. Ooh, Commune, okay, hopefully it gets us something good. Sheltered Thicket, that's uh, going to be. So we're crossing our fingers for that fifth land next turn for Regis or Alpha. Uh, Junior G. Haven't seen this guy yet. Well, it's not a lot, not another land, but play it safe. Get that down. Hmm. Flying menace. Discard two loose. Ooh, that's that's nasty. That seems pretty powerful, actually. They got a lot of black. Maybe killing Regis or Alpha here. Hopefully that's not the case, but. Ram through. Maybe will come in handy next turn. Can cast both of them. Which we might... Well, maybe we won't want to kill Junji here. Hmm. Blood on the snow. That is not good. Oh. Just, uh... Get it back. Oh, yes, with blood on the snow. Okay. Well, uh, that's going to do it. That's how it goes sometimes. Pretty rough there. Mono black. Crazy. Kill your stuff. Discard your stuff. Rankle. Thoughtseize. Inquisition of Kozilek. Gets the job done, that's for sure. But we got big guys. We won the first two. That's always nice. Take it down to mere control. Mono white, life gain, uh, which pretty much you probably face at least once a session. Likely. Still snowing. Hasn't let up at all. Mm. Yeah, I think we could make that work. We're on the draw, so at least commune, turn one. Dig for somebody. Not somebody. Shifting it is. Kind of sad we had to pass up Huntmaster and Drover there. It's a risky take. Ooh, Golgari. Well, they don't have a cat online yet. And we did get Huntmaster there, so if all goes well, hasty shifting Ceratops next turn. Oh, there's the cat. Snowed there, oh, okay. Snow warning. Didn't even stick, my goodness. Yeah, I got uh, my snow bank at the end of my driveway right now is... Probably almost 10 feet or something. It's, it's big, definitely. Go with Ripjaw now just because we can give it haste and swing. The next turn, the Shifting Ceratops that we play we can also just give it haste by itself if it makes sense to do that. Oh, yes, village rights. That, that'll do it. And, I mean, oh, sacrificing two things. That's not good. Hopefully we can take out that Ravenous Squirrel easily next game with Savage Stomp, Ram through in two squirrels. More gooses. Sacrificing the food to get the cat back. 
to make bigger squirrels. Oh boy. They're getting out of control here. Another hunt master. Interesting. So I could go hunt master plus shifting. I think we'll do that. Oh, first bot of the night. Akhar Panahi. Hmm. So they'll be able to sacrifice two two things it seems like the food token and then Phyrexian tower to sacrifice the cat so a squirrel the 3-3 three three is going to go to 5 but I still like that aggression and I still like drawing a card so we'll see how it goes would be nice taking out one of the squirrels here what's up with the bots um, I don't know but they certainly have been less. Maybe YouTube is getting a little bit better, perhaps. That would be nice. But they always seem to have that same, similar message. It's interesting. Some nights I get like uh, four, five, even more than that. Ooh, more lands. Not quite what we need, but um, shifting Ceratops for two is always good stuff. And fighting at instant speed probably would be pretty nice if we could take out that biggest squirrel there. I would like to do that. They think they're going to add more counters, make them bigger. That's not the case. Okay, sheltered thicket. What can you not give us because we didn't cycle it that's okay that's quite all right Jeesh. yeah hmm well we'll keep up the pressure because there is no fighting spell we're waiting on this game If we were waiting on potentially drawing a fighting spell next turn, may have held back the shifting. But we could get Rampaging Brontodon next turn, which I think would be big enough. Hopefully that happens. We'll see if they forget about the fact that shifting Ceratops can get trample. So whatever one the cat blocks, I think that's what we'll do. Get a little bit more damage through, uh, but those are big squirrels. They're a little late for hibernation, uh, but they're getting it done this game. No sneaky trample, that's all right. They don't know what's coming up. Rampaging Brontodon. Nasty. It would be... 13 13 next turn with another land that we play. Pretty hard to deal with a 13 13, even with a 6 6 squirrel there. Oh, well, it's not rampaging Brontodon, but it's another body which could help out our cause those squirrels though that's going to be nasty we'll have to have probably at least two things left to block them plus they got the cat that can chip away so I think at least two bodies blocking is what we want maybe some of the gooses block Hmm. Well, if we wait, things just get bigger and things just get worse. So let's uh, do as much as possible. 
and hope the one blocker of Huntmaster is enough and they don't kill it. We'll block the biggest squirrel there next turn when they surely swing. Just pray they don't have a fatal push for it, or else we're done for. Could potentially be done for with that other squirrel, um, plus chipping away damage, especially if they get a witch's oven. That's not going to be a fun time. Here goes nothing. Oh, Hive of the Eye Tyrant. I think that's it. I always forget about the Manlands. I forget to add the Manlands, but I do forget about the Manlands the opponent has. Interesting. Huh. Figured they would have made the Hive of the Eye Tyrant to get even closer to death. That's not good. Well, we're not technically dead yet, uh, being able to go Regisaur Alpha. Yeah, but there's no way out of that, really. That's all right. We got close, but the nasty Meat Hook Massacre, as always, an all-star for the opponent, did lovely, lovely work. I think I like Rampaging for Ossidon as well. But lots of interaction coming up. Shifting Ceratops, kind of nice with the Trample, pairing with Quartzwood Crasher. Carnage Tyrant, a uh, headache for the opponent, to say the least. Hmm... Yeah, we'll drop Carnage Tyrant. I like the big trampling possibility of rampaging Brown to Dun, making uh, a threatening creature whenever it attacks against those squirrels. And of course, rampaging Brown to Dun does pair nicely with Ram Through while it's massive. That could be fun. Hmm, a little bit more to cut. Huntmaster always nice, but they got some cheap removal. Probably bringing in a little bit more now that they see what we're all about. Do hmm. cut ah, rip jaw. I was thinking rip jaw. Of course, it's fantastic with Savage Stomp. Hopefully, that isn't our undoing. Get that Rampaging Brontodon. Uh, that's the ticket off. Oh, two Savage Stomps, Marauding. As long as Marauding sticks around, uh, we can kill a couple things. Hopefully, a squirrel before it gets too big. And hope that's enough. Of course, I am a little sad. Uh, no Rampaging or... Ripjaw Raptor. Killed a goose. Definitely want to take that out. Certainly need a lot of green sources with Savage Stomp here. Hopefully Marauding sticks around, so commune next turn, see what we draw, but at the very least, probably killing the goose. Witch's oven. And the cat. Okay, so. Swing with the cat. See when they bring it back and just savage stomp uh i haven't really liked death gorger for the cat just because they can so easily bring it back or oftentimes easily bring the cat back with uh, death gorge's trigger on the stack when we target it they just respond by sacrificing something. Oftentimes, they have a food, so the cat will never be exiled, pretty much. Uh, they'll just save it by bringing it back. But it could force it, force the opponent to bring the cat back at an inopportune moment. So 
you know, maybe it should be something I consider in this matchup. But creature-wise, we got lands, yeah, shifting ceratops. All right, let's uh, see how they do things here. But yeah, some, sometimes I think Death Gorge could be valid, forcing them to do something with the cat when they weren't wanting to. Now it is pretty rough here. I feel like if we Savage Stomp the cat, they might let it happen, bring the cat back. Oh, the village rights, okay. Well, we're forcing them to get rid of the cat. At the very least, we still get that counter on them. And maybe just, no, we'll save Savage Stomp. I was thinking of fighting the goose there, but kind of like rampaging Ferocidon, actually. That's going to be nice, especially, well, I mean, if Meat Hook Massacre comes down with Rampaging Frostodon, he's probably dying at three toughness. But chipping away, they're doing shenanigans with the cat, uh, Witch's Oven, that sort of thing. Oh, gee, yikes. Makes me want to go Jund again and get uh, Leyline of the Void to just decimate graveyard strategies like this. Hmm. Source of red. Guess it doesn't really matter too much. Fifting. Rampaging. Yeah, I like rampaging. Now let's see what marauding forces them to do. Probably the plant token. Sacrifice it. In response, get the food. I'll have two. Ooh, that's not good. What they don't have a food. Well, they would have a food if they sacrifice Cauldron Familiar in response. So I uh, will save that Savage Stomp just in case they get a squirrel next turn. Hopefully Rampaging sticks around, does a nice little bit of chip damage against him. Ooh, another commune. Well, I say we go with this. See what the opponent does. Oh, Rampaging Brontodon, as I was hoping, but we're still a ways away from that guy. I say we just go Regisaur Alpha. See what they do to this Rampage. It is nice they hopefully have to block with two and they don't just kill it with some sort of spot removal. See if we can take out two bodies plus fight them with... Uh, maybe they're waiting for this Shifting Ceratops here. At the very least, hopefully, I mean, we have one body next turn for Savage Stomp and they don't just go to the nasty Meat Hook Massacre. Pinging. Good stuff, good damage. A little bit of a drawback for the opponent. Uh, lands that make tokens, that sort of thing. Uh, sacrificing food to gain life. That can't happen at the moment. Shifting's going to be nice, though. Trample. Always lovely stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll pay two just to have that one left for Savage Stomp there. Or potentially giving Shifting Trample. We'll see. 
Yeah. Maximum aggression. That's the name of the game. Yeah. I, th I think a, a sneaky trample from shifting might happen. See if we can get him to sacrifice something with Witch's Oven, bring something back with the food token, and then uh, maybe make something happen somehow. Oh, the fatal push. Okay. Well, I expected it at some point here. At least I haven't got Trail of Crumbs yet. That certainly would have been a headache. Drawing lots of cards probably would have been drawing enough. Kind of like the thought of taking out a goose, but I'm saving that savage stomp to savagely stomp a ravenous squirrel. At some point. Probably put uh, Savage Stomp on the token. Just because it has Trample. Make it a little bit bigger. Get a little bit more damage through. Oh, Bone Shards. That's nasty. Excuse me. Oh, this could be good. This could be pretty fantastic, actually, now that I think about it. Well, let's go Savage Stomp on a goose. Actually, make a bigger Rampaging Ferocidon. See if they want to sacrifice it in response. Okay. Thinking they might sacrifice uh, something, bring both cat, sacrifice a cat and bring it back, but now they can't do that. Seems like they basically have to take. Oh, okay. Nice, taking out Gilded Goose. Now just pray they don't get a trail of crumbs next turn. That could be rough. But at the very least, it looks like we'll be able to kill... Ooh, two witches' ovens. Ram through might come in handy here. Question is, do we want to kill one right now with ram through to stop taking a damage and get a little bit more damage on the opponent? I think that would be actually pretty good. I think they still take damage if they sacrifice the creature in response. The full damage would go through, so they wouldn't want to sacrifice it. Hmm. Could get nasty, though, with those two witches' ovens. Oh. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. That... That was tense. That was rough. But, Flaming Draco, your suggestion of Death Gorge Scavenger. Well, I think we try that guy out. It's going to do good. I think we've got to cut Rampaging Brontodon, though. Maybe a little bit too costly against this deck. Want to go a little bit faster and get rid of things. Death Gorge Rampaging could be a little bit awkward, not able to gain life, especially if it's a cat we're targeting, so might not be good. But exiling the cat so we don't have to worry about it, potentially, that's going to be nice. Hmm. Yeah, we'll draw up one mountain. All right, we saw a fatal push finally last game. We'll see if we see some more here. Blood Chief's Thirst, Bone Shards, 
Uh, they could be packing some pretty nasty removal. We, they maybe just didn't draw it the previous game, but we took them down. Close, rough. Probably wouldn't have gone our way if they had got an early trail of crumbs there, but I mean, marauding, rampaging, savage stomp looks pretty fantastic. Hopefully we get to that third land, but at the very least, we've got rampaging and marauding to, oh, there it is, secluded courtyard. Well, let's just go that because they know we're dinos. All right. Oh, there's the squirrel. Yep. Public enemy number one. Double squirrel. Double trouble. Yikes. Okay. Well, we need a source of green, certainly, so let's lock that in for Savage Stomp. Hope Marauding sticks around. Hope they don't get that uh, Witch's Oven. Chamberlain Gast. Okay. Phew. Oh, oh. Good stuff. Well, uh, Rampaging. Stop the life gain. Savage Stomp. Riding Raptor. Get rid of the Squirrel. Hope we get some more interaction next turn, but we took out one Squirrel, so I am definitely happy about that. Chamberlain Gas could give minus one, minus one to something, but if we do take out the squirrel by both the squirrel and shambling gas blocking. I actually, I think I like that if they take that opportunity. But it looks like they may just want the treasure. Yes. I was thinking they double block with the squirrel, but uh, they want to make that squirrel big. boy. Oh, there's the oven. But no cat. No cat. Oh, ram through. We're taking out that squirrel this turn 100%. Now we could risk it. We could potentially go commune with dinosaurs, dig for a source of green. But if we don't hit a source of green, that's going to be very, very rough and sad. It's all about taking risks though. Oh, man, I was sweating buckets there, actually. Pay that two life. Get, uh, get some swings. Well, let them put one. Oh, okay. Well, I was thinking they'd sacrifice two things. I was going to let them put on one counter. And while well, the next one was going on, fight him or well, ram through him. Ah, oh, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, Quartzwood. Well, commune this turn, definitely for another land. Death Gorge. Well, Flaming Draco, you did ask for Death Gorge. Hmm, maybe that would be good. Nah, I do like lands playing it a little bit safer. Or for Quartzwood, yep. Squirrel isn't too big yet. Let's just get some nice bodies. If we get that second Quartzwood next turn, man, that is going to be a headache. That might do it. Can they get the squirrel to five? Eh, even if they get the squirrel to five, not a problem. Looks like they could. Or more than five, actually. Sacrificing both treasures. Oh, they sacrificed the squirrel. I'm okay. I mean, I do not like those squirrels, so hopefully we don't see a... Oh, a big meat hook massacre. Uh, that's not good. Yes. But, played it safe. Got those lands. Quartzwood, next turn. Hopefully that does the trick. Regis or Alpha, yes. Okay, we'll go with that instead. 
just pray they don't have another meat hook. Okay, second Regisaur. Maybe it would have been better just to go Quartzwood, but slightly less damage since we did have Regisaur out already. Attacking with seven power compared to six could potentially make the difference. Maybe. Oh. There it is. That's all right. We got... Uh, Hasty shifting, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, let's do that as fast as possible. Maximum speed. Hope it does the trick. Certainly don't expect a third meat hook massacre. Uh, but, you know, uh, that can happen. Oh, they're going to do their stuff coming up. Oh, double trail of crumbs, double trouble. Rampaging Frostodon would be nice. Oh, another land. Okay, so, uh, yep, pay two life. Still have two left for ram through, which is going to be nice. If it makes sense to do that. But we can still give Shifting Trample, which might actually be better. goes nothing. All I got is the cat. Well, at least I can't draw cards, you know, with uh, sacrifice in the food. One to one. Uh, desperate. Last ditch effort. And we get a 5-5. Five five. Okay. Good stuff. Still, nasty meat hook could come up next turn. But I mean, everything with trample. We never have to worry about the cat, a squirrel, anything chump blocking. That definitely, uh, I think, does the trick. It's certainly one angle to explore when you're facing this deck. Something with trample. Get through damage. The squirrel, there it is. Ram through is going to come in handy next turn. See what they draw with Trail of Crumbs there. Yep, Commune. Let's see what you get us, good buddy. Marauding. Well, it can't have haste, anything like that. Let's do Sheltered Thicket instead. We'll cycle that. And maybe it gets us a second ram through. Okay, so it doesn't. But let's go... Big swing time. I think that's pretty much got to be it due to the fact that we have rammed through. I don't see how they would get out of this. Just wait for them to do all their stuff, I guess. Wait for them to expend all their resources and then uh, finish them off 
with Ram through. Perhaps they expend some, uh, oh, the cat. Okay. Add an oven, which, uh, well, can't play the oven. Still taking five from that token, which does it. Well, let's let's just end their suffering and uh, get it done. Bam! Oh, I was worried actually with uh, interaction-wise against this Golgari sacrifice, but fantastic! Wow! Wow! It's always always a lovely night when you take down that kind of a deck. Good stuff. All right. Well. It's uh, currently 1.43 in the morning where I'm at. Uh, it is Friday, of course, so I was happy I can still bring you guys this stream. And, but I think I'm going to call it a night there. Ugly Hood Rat, GG is right. Man, that is certainly a high note to end a stream off. Man, fantastic, fantastic stuff. I did like that trample. That, that trample thing certainly does the trick gets around when they sacrifice their creatures before passing to damage so that they don't take anything. Yes, Flaming Draco, good luck to you as well and to everyone else watching right now or later on. Remember, there is always room for improvement in crushing some cats. Some nasty, nasty cats that have been baked in an oven far too many times. I don't want to think about that. Okay, have a good one. Uh, hopefully you don't have to shovel too much snow, probably a lot less than I do tomorrow morning. Oh, it's getting worse. My goodness, I should probably film a video, but yeah. Okay, we'll see you later. Probably won't be a stream tomorrow, but uh, something dino related, of course. So yes, have a good one. See you next time.